make barbecue chicken and rice. Um, to make this, all you need is your favorite barbecue sauce, maybe like six chicken breasts, and three bags of rice and butter, because the butter keeps the chicken moist, and also butter because you need it for the rice. So they're like more butter, more better type situation. Um, just like laying the chicken um, in the pan, grab the butter, don't really measure it, just put a little butter pads throughout the chicken. Butter in the south is a big staple item, so and this will go in for about about 40 minutes, about 30, 40 minutes. Put it on 450, put it on bacon, just kind of forget about it. We're going to put the rice on for the barbecue chicken. Boiling a bag of rice I like better because I don't know how to cook no rice outside of the <laughs> I will burn, scorch. I ain't even going to try to lie. Alright, now that it's going to start steaming, it's kind of like, it takes about 10 minutes when it starts like boiling, you turn it off. And then the chicken should be done by then. The chicken is done and the rice is done. Um, it's time to put it together. That's the joy of bar one a bag. It's done in about 10 minutes. It's not burnt, see? I can do that. While this is cooling, I'm going to bring the butter back out and the barbecue sauce. Ooh. I like a lot of butter. It's a heap of butter. Or to make the rice very uh, moist and buttery. Pretty much you just He's old eyeball. I mean, if you like it more barbecue, you like you like barbecue chicken, then you put more. If you don't, you put less. Normally, you would let the chicken cool, but you can actually cut it into beautiful pieces. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be chunky. It can be thinned. It can be shredded. And this one's done. Bon appetit, Larry. It's one of my best ones. Hi, how you doing? I just had the pork chop casserole today we're going to cook. Yeah, something that's been in our family for quite a while. Before you get started, you got to wash your hands. I don't like bone-in pork chops. I like uh, center-cut pork chops. So uh, it's going to be center-cut pork chops. A uh, can, a big can of cruel mushroom soup. <coughs> a small can of green beans. And then you're going to cook some rice as like a side item. No butter, surprisingly, will be in this recipe. My sister taught me this recipe like as I was growing up, she made it. And really, you're supposed to use a can, but I just kind of like eyeball it because this is me. All the kids really like this meal. Man, I, I should have been four drops in the last. I put the four drops in there first. But oops. Gotta do is just take them suckers out. When you mess up a recipe, there's always a, a redo. You got a little bit on it, to be honest. This beats the milk and the soup together, add your can of green beans or fresh green beans, whatever you choose to add. I won't eat none of this tonight. I don't too much like green beans. The kids like green beans. It's a texture thing for me. I want it all red so the soup does not burn. You just cover it with temple. And um, throw it in the oven and forget it. And probably about 20 minutes till it's done, you uh, come back, cook some rice as like a side dish, and then you put the cream and mushroom soup over it, the rice. The uh, pork chop casserole is done. Um, be careful because the steam does get hot. And there you go, you want some? Steam your lens up. <laughs>